So one of the things I was interested in when I was in graduate school was trying to figure out the contours of the relationship between our moral views and our political views. And there's an enormous amount of research on that since. Um, I've been very influenced, for instance, by John Haidt's work on moral intuitions um, and how that relates to politics, his um, view that uh, attitudes towards sacredness, for instance, are deeply embedded in our biology and our neurology. Um, and that uh, the relationship between the prefrontal cortex and the amygdala shapes our politics and, and so forth. Um, these ideas in the 90s led me to start hypothesizing about the shape of politics and how technology and biotechnologies would fit into our existing political frameworks. So we go to the next slide. The, um, I started this, um, uh, in, well, I, I eventually came to the understanding that our um, moral views about the possibility of human perfectibility uh, were ancient, that we had images of human perfectibility from ancient cultures and mythologies, um, that the idea that we would have at some point in the past or in some point in the future, if we did the right things, that we might have perfect bodies free from disease and live immortal lives. That's one idea that's found in many cultures. Um, in China, you actually have Taoism uh, practicing that as a core part of Taoist spiritual cultivation is supposed to bring longevity. In other uh, faiths, it's more about the power of healing in this life, but immortality in the next. Um, the idea of the holy city is that wouldn't, as soon as human beings were able to imagine uh, better futures, better possibilities, they were imagining that in the past things might have been much better, or in the future things might be much better, or after death things might be much better. We might live in cities without, or in, in communities without war, hunger, oppression, violence, and so forth. 